Hey guys, welcome to Carlo HQ, our new headquarters here in Silesia. Christoph asked me to show some lots and we are starting with the very basic ones. Um, maybe we should turn around so as soon as possible. This is so called reef knot. It's a very basic connection of knots. It's made like this. As you can see, this is not a very safe knot. I wouldn't use it for climbing at all. Um, it's for two equally thick um, pieces of rope if you want to connect them. I'll show you slowly how it goes. I'm left handed, so I always say left over and left under. So, well, if you only remember this knot and you need a safety knot, you can make it a little bit more safe by adding those two safety knots. Oops, I have to tighten it a bit up. Drop is a bit cold. To prevent it from opening, but uh, by any means don't use it for climbing unless you have no other chance to do so. This way, by the way, is um, for uh, used by firefighters. But um, anyway, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> okay, I will show it one more time. Left over, left under. So the so-called reef knot. It's up to Christoph to find uh, the proper Polish name for it because I do not know it. Right. Funny thing about the reef knot is that you very fast can make it into another knot, which is a flag knot. Flag knot is used to connect two pieces of rope which are differently in size or material, meaning if you have a plastic rope and a hemp rope, you want to connect them, then use a flag knot. Flag knot is very easy. It's a flag knot. This is the thin part. And if you want it to be extra secure, then you just make it like this. I think we can show it on something else. Mm -hmm. Like I said, imagine this being the thick part of the rope. I have to find it now. Yeah, we have to clean up this garden monster. This is a flag knot, now demonstrated on a parachute canopy and a normal piece of rope. It's a very safe knot, can take a lot of punishment, and it's Break percent is only five. So, mm. back to the reef knot. There's a variation of it, it's so called thieves knot. And it's because um, if you have something you want to tie, and maybe a bag of flour or a sailor's sack or something, then a lot of sailors they would secure it by making the reef knot like this. This is a normal reef knot where the ends are showing each each other's way. Right? This this way, this way, this way. And this is wrong because somebody else opens it, takes your stuff out of your bag, and then close it with another reef knot. With a normal reef knot the ends show up at the other side. So you have an indication for that somebody has been into your stuff and stealing it. Good thing about the reef knot is when it's getting wet and it was under pressure, then it's very hard to open unless you do it like this, then it's open. That was two basic rope connections. I will show more later. Now I want to show you the bowline, the magnificent bowline. Like I said, Christoph has to find the Polish names for it. It's very easy not. You got it? Mm -hmm. One more time. Over. Under. 
scissors and you have this eye around the tree and then the lake. One more time. Bowline is a very very stable knot. It's a fixed eye, meaning it will not run away. You can use it for securing yourself or another person. But then I would take two more lines around it. I will demonstrate the bow line around the fixed part. And this is another way of doing it. Then you have to tilt it. Like this. This is probably the knot I would choose to tie around the tree or anything else when I have to climb because it's very easy to open again. Also, under no pressure, you simply have to break the knot's neck, open it, there you go. And there's two half hitches. And this is very easy. Over, under, over, under. And as you can see, it's a running knot. So when you have a lot of pressure onto it, then it will simply be very very hard to open. Variation of it to make it easier for you to open again. Ah, bollocks. Ah. <laughs> it's by adding a slip to it. Does make the knot more insecure, but Very easy to open again. Two half hitches one more time. Over and in. Over and in. It looks like this when it's correct. Then we have the bow line one more time, nice and slow. And then you Breaking the neck, pulling out, pulling in. The bow line in the hand. This, this is called bow line around a fixed part, meaning this pole. And this is the bow line in the hand. This is when you want to secure yourself. Like this. Okay, <laughs> wasn't very good. Nobody could see what I was doing. So here. Okay. One more time. Over. Twist. Pull around the tree in the lake. Pull. Here you go. One more time the reef knot. Left over. Left under. And then the flag knot. Flag knot looks a bit like the bow line actually, when you look at from this part, but it is not, don't be mistaken. Okay guys, all for today, thank you.